All right, I'll give you a list of uh, a top five list <laughs> of idiotic clients uh, this year. Okay, this month. Uh, some of you like my list, so these are the top five of idiotic clients or potential clients. Okay, uh, <laughs> at number at number five, this guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about him. He has been without a job for two years. Okay, let that sink in. Two years, you're without a job. You're struggling for a job. And that also in a foreign country. He has taken loans. He has taken credit cards. Uh, I don't know how he could apply for it. I don't know whether it is his or whatever. This is what, he, anyway, he told me that uh, he has credit cards and all that. Now, you have been without a job for two years and how I know this for a fact is every time he sends me his CV okay every month month and a half two months and that also <laughs> new CV sometimes white one page sometimes orange sometimes green sometimes blue new designs contemporary modern you know, you get these templates online. Uh, he, he's, he's trying. Okay. Content uh, puts bombastic words and Okay. Two years. But every time, the funny thing is, he will ask me, what is your last price? Very dedicated. Uh, means he is a genuine chap, but he wants to know what is my last price. In fact, I put the promotion for this year end. Okay. I even, I felt sorry for him, okay, two years still, I gave him a good price. Even after giving him a good price, <laughs> he doesn't confirm. I'm very sure he's going to continue like this for another, I don't know how long he lasts like this. I, I cannot understand how can a person stay without a job for two years and not want to change or have a sense of urgency, like he is. I'm sure he is definitely trying. But his strategy, I'm, I asked him, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm sending everyone on LinkedIn, I'm emailing, I'm doing this. Man, it doesn't work, man. And then obviously, okay, can you tell me what will work? No, you're not my client. I'm not going to tell you what is going to work for your industry. So at number five, two years unemployment and still wants the last price. At number four, okay. This guy is uh, another idiot. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, this guy, I, after I put the promotion, he sends me, hey, Roy, how are you? This, that, okay, fine. You know, immediately when I put in the beginning of December, uh, I would like to confirm what is the terms, conditions, payments, details, okay, fine. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow, fine. Tomorrow comes, you know, for me, if you get in touch with me, fine. Tomorrow comes, Nothing is there. I, I could see him because night time we discuss. So his obviously his message is there in the you know first few lines of the desktop version of WhatsApp. Fine. After that, I don't hear anything from him. After two three days, again he gets in touch with me. Oh, how much, uh, lawyer? I just wanted to follow up with this. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll confirm. How is the payment? Yeah, okay. Bank details, okay. Uh, then he disappears after two days again he comes back um, you know can I send it via this can I send it via that he has been doing this I think what eight times nine times what the what are you doing man sometimes in a day three times he will get a, oh I want to make the payment now I want to make the he looks, he sounds genuine. I don't know if he's wasting my time or he's trolling. <laughs> but I have his, I know he's not a troll because he has sent me his CV and, you know, <sighs> this something seriously, I don't know, mentally wrong with him or I don't know what it is. Anyway, at number three, this client is not a latest one, but slightly an older one. Okay, now what makes this odd and strange is this client had gotten in touch with me last year when I gave the special promotion. So he opted for it, fine. 
So as a courtesy from my side, I said I'll give you one, two, three extra services within this month. He said, yeah, thank you. Okay, fine. He paid the money, but he never took the, he never completed the task. So imagine he has paid on December. He doesn't follow up for December. January, I send him reminders, don't follow up. February, okay, then March, forget it. Somewhere in June, I think, after six months, oh, we need to do it urgently and this and that. I said, okay, fine, we'll do it. He does it, just few things and vanishes again. June, July, August, then I think September, he gets in touch again. And this time I tell him, see, listen, man, I'd offered you this last year. You can't keep doing this, you know, because I don't even remember your profile. And every time you come back, we have to start from scratch. Okay, fine. So finally, we, I put my foot down. I'm, you know, I don't have nothing doing. You either finish or forget it. So he finishes it off. Okay, fine. So someone paid me. I told him you have to finish it off within that duration. He didn't respect that. He dragged it on for, I think, September, nine months. Eh? Yeah, okay. Uh, Ten months, sorry. So it's done. Okay, service is over. He just got in touch with me. Now December. And now he says, uh, I have this interview and all that. And uh, I'm getting an opportunity. It was a good opportunity. Okay. So I said, hey, great. At first, I didn't remember also who he was because I have so many customers that I interact with. So he said, uh, okay, let's have the interview coaching. I said, what interview coaching? He's saying, no, you told me uh, that you'll give me a special offer. I said, what? show me the email because, you know, I can't remember, man. I speak to so many. So he sent a snapshot and it was evident that this offer was for last year. I said it was for last year for December. You can't come back to me after one year and say, oh, you know, it's like you go to a restaurant. Uh, you pay the money and say, OK, I will enjoy uh, Christmas in the year 2020 and I pay the money and I don't come they keep the reservation everything and then he comes next year and says I paid last year now let me eat the food nobody is going to entertain man whether rent or anything else I told him see listen man I can't uh, this thing uh, give you for what I promised you free last year I said as a matter of courtesy fine and I give it to you for free you didn't take it. So as a courtesy, what I can do is, I'll give you the same service, but not for free. Just pay a very, I'm telling you, it was a throwaway price. You want to know how much it is? It was around $50. I said, it is around 67 okay, to be specific. I said, we'll have the interview coaching, which I never do. Interview coaching for his category, his position, the number of sessions he wanted, it would have gone up to say $700 or something. Because multiple sessions, we, we go through it again and again and again. So I said, okay, fine. Just pay 67, we'll have a crash course. This guy got pissed off. No, you're charging me money. No, I, I don't want this. Man, you have a fucking job. <laughs> you have a job opportunity. If you're not prepared for it, you lose it. No, it's okay. No problem. Okay, I kept quiet. You know, my problem is I take my work very seriously. I don't joke around with my work. I love what I do. But yes, I have to charge money. I can't do it for free. It was bugging me so much. I literally called him. I said, see, listen. Okay, let's have a mock session. Okay. He's saying, I'm not paying money. I said, forget the money. Just do the bloody mock session. You will not believe, I asked him the most simplest questions just to prepare him for the interview. What is your name? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, what's your profile? Uh, tell me something about yourself. Uh, strengths, weaknesses. Why should we give this job? Simple question. Very, very simple. You will not believe he was not able to answer any of these questions. He just couldn't answer. And I'm like stunned there. I'm like, 
I asked you tell me something about yourself. He, oh, he was like, no, I, I didn't prepare for it. I said, you have the fucking interview coming up next. He's saying, no, no, it's after two, three days. Okay, fine, after two, three days, but you, you don't know you? Then he struggled and he gave me three lines. I'm not exaggerating. Only three lines. <laughs> My name, what he studied, what he's working as. That's it. Tell me something about yourself, which is supposed to be three to three minutes to seven minutes long. Supposed to give you an entire bloody profile. He was not able to answer strengths. He was not able to answer weakness. In fact, he wasn't even able to answer why should he be selected. I was like, man, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, no, no, but don't worry. That day I will do well. What that day you will do well? I kept quiet. I said, think about what you want to do in your life. I don't know why, but it was bugging me so much about this guy. <laughs> I mean, you have a family, you have wife, you have kids. You have to be ready for an opportunity you don't get. So finally, I I called him. Just imagine, I reached out to him. I said, your interview, you said hey, after two, three days, it's tomorrow, right? He said, yeah. Okay. Let's have a session. Again, he says, I will not pay you. <laughs> I told him, just fuck all that. Just, just be ready. Okay. We had the session. I gave him a couple of pointers what to do. Didn't take it for too long. I mean, <laughs> what a kind of person you are, man. And you know, what's the funniest thing? I asked him, give me a positive review. Okay. Just put a rating on my profile that my services were good. Even that he didn't do. Let that sink in. He, I gave him a service, gave him for free, gave him everything. He didn't give a recommendation, nothing, not even, you know, just have to click five stars, right? <sighs> but even though he didn't do this, I did my part of the job. Let me put it this way. I still followed up. I didn't have to do it. I did it because I just love my work, man. When I shared this with my groups, they're like, man, fuck him and this and that. And, uh, anyway, I'm not going to entertain him after this. So that's another fuck all thing here. Yeah. But, uh, huh. <laughs> At number two, a stupid client or potential client. This guy, fancy name. Okay, he leaves me voice, you know, voice messages. Hi, Lloyd, how are you? All accent, mm, high five. Okay, how are you doing? And uh, I, I would like to discuss, you know, mentoring possibilities, blah, 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 went on. Oh, not one voicemail. Voicemail, voicemail, voicemail. So many voicemail. I'm like, what the fuck is this? He, I, I think he gave around 20. Finally got irritated. I was like, I sent him a message. Listen, I don't have time to listen to your shit. What the fuck do you want? Get to the point. Oh, I would like you to be my mentor. Fine. Uh, send me a profile. <laughs> and then he tells me he doesn't have a profile. I'm like, okay, social media. He sends me social media links. He's, he's a fucking college student. Okay, no profile, nothing. He's a fucking kid from India, putting on an accent. Okay. So I said, uh, how are you going to afford it? As it is, I don't take youngsters. How are you going to afford it? Oh, I, I didn't know we have to pay money. Yes, it's I don't do mentoring for free. Oh, what is your, what? What is your surcharge? I give him my surcharge. And then he says, uh, is this negotiable? So what I did is, finally I told him, let's do a 15 minute. Okay, $67, I'll charge you 15 minute. Which anyway, I would have extended, but I wanted to see. It's unbelievable that guy said, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay.
and that's it. I mean, uh, you literally took all this time, sent me all these messages, thinking that I'm going to sit here and do it for free. And then I wouldn't have even bothered and remembered this. You know, why am I sharing this? He later on <laughs> sends me a long bloody uh, message lecturing me on being two-faced, on misguiding the youth and he deleted it. I wish I had taken a screenshot. He's, he must have seen the two blue tick mark and he was like, you're two-faced, you just want to give people false hope that you're a mentor, man of character, uh, you're uh, exploiting others. I wanted to give you a chance of a lifetime to mentor me because I'm going to aim for greatness. Blah, 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 blah. Oof. Finally, I... <laughs> and then when I didn't respond to that, he even sent me voice messages. Finally, I blocked him. And voice messages are obviously abusing me. What the fuck you think you are, man? You think you're this? If... Oh. Ah. He forgot that he sent me his social media links. If I wanted, I could put him in trouble. Yeah, I was like, ah, what nonsense. And last if not the least, the climax. So the idiotic potential client or client for this month, this year. This guy, young chap, young, huh? just graduated college and started to work. Wanted my mentoring, fine, everything. And he wanted my mentoring or personal branding or whatever to become the CEO of a company. See, just, just let that sink in. You just graduated and now you want to be the CEO of a company. You just started to work. I was like, okay, it's good to have a goal, but step by step. Now, I have a way of doing things. And I told him, this is what we are going to do. He said, okay. But then he gets back to me and says, uh, this is your way of doing things. I would like it to be this way. And what is his way? He wanted me to discuss with him year by year until the age of 50, give him a game plan, a master plan for, let's assume he's 20 years old, till the age of 50, a 30 year step by step game plan of how he's going to achieve that with pie charts, with PowerPoint presentation, with diagrams and strategy. And I was like, listen, I'm not the fuck is this man? He's saying, how do you achieve a goal? You think Elon Musk doesn't have... Baba, you're not Elon Musk. Uh, shut your pie hole. In fact, I, I, I told him, can we focus on your resume at least? You're no, not even done that you're talking of. Okay. Begrudgingly, he agreed. His CV, oh my goodness. For a guy who just graduated from college. I saved the company $2 million. I helped set up eight companies of $5 million or $3 million. What are you talking, man? No, this I was doing during my college. I, I said, you don't have work experience. How the fuck? Are you? No, I was consulting them when I was studying. Okay, where are the evidence? Where are? No, it's confidential. What, you did it in your dreams or what? Okay. I, I told him this is all shit and doesn't work in the real world. He got angry with me because he's a hothead. That's why I don't like to do youngsters. Okay, he didn't get in touch with me. <laughs> he gets in touch with me after, I think, one, two months. Oh, Loy, uh, uh, guess what? I've been offered a CEO opportunity. Oh, okay. And uh, your services were useless you are not required okay and now i would like all my money back what <laughs> after doing the service starting the service halfway through i want all my money back i said sir it doesn't work this way what money back fuck off i didn't say fuck off i said no you paid money we finished the work you started he said, I don't need it. I said, okay, that's not my problem. If I order from Pizza Hut, I order a pizza and after the pizza is delivered, 
Oh, sorry, I don't need it. After eating that, also eating two three pieces. Okay. Ignored. He kept quiet. Then he gets in touch with me after another month, and this time he says, "Okay, I would like to finish my profile." Fine. For me, I don't take anything personal. He worked on the profile. Worked on the profile. and uh, made it proper made it acceptable finally i told him just give the review you know for my service here's the link he said yeah, yeah i'll give the review sure okay then he asked me another favor he wanted to do a business profile which was not part of the package i said okay fine we can do it just let's finish it off because anyway it was more or less the same thing he didn't have much experience he wanted to be positioning himself as a consultant There's hardly anything. Uh, I made it. Okay. Now remember, this guy said, "Yeah, I'll give the positive review. Whatever. Let's do the business profile. Fine. Made the business profile. And here I'm waiting for his feedback. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally, one day he sends me a mail. Okay. Now I don't follow up. If you want to give the feedback, fine. He gives a mail. criticizing me a full page criticizing me hello i just want to give you a feedback of your service not professional <laughs> not professional you were not able to outline my journey to be a ceo of a company you didn't give me the 30 year game plan you didn't write step by step blah 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 went on went on went on okay <laughs> nowhere did he mention anything good that i've done i i Okay, I kept quiet. Finally, in the end, he says, "But overall, what I want to tell you is, I was shocked but impressed that you're able to make such a good profile. Okay, both my resume as this, eh? but you should learn how to what? You should learn how to take care of your clients. You should learn how to respect them. Means basically, put on top of my head and dance. Okay, and then." <laughs> he has the audacity in the end to say you're lucky that he's actual you're lucky that i didn't uh, uh, tell people about this bad experience and i'm not putting anything online because i don't want to destroy your reputation anyway uh this is what feedback i wanted to give you he is telling me i hope you improve and become better Oh goodness! In fact, uh, I did share his. He, he, here's a funny thing: the job profile that he wanted, there was an opening. I shared his profile without telling him. I shared it to a decision maker. Two of them. They were like, uh, we'll not give him a, obviously a high position or CEO or whatever, but we can definitely look into it. Okay, I had done this because yeah, okay, fine. he might be hot headed or ego but he has potential and if my client can get some value why not but after he did this just imagine a young boy he doesn't even know how to dress with a suit and tie he doesn't know how to look impeccable <laughs> after he gave this feedback i shared this feedback with the the ceo of this company and owner of the other company they said loy uh, it's a good thing you shared this he is not a type of candidate we would want we need someone who has gratitude and who's grateful not someone who is a, is a piece of shit <laughs> that's exactly what they said i just kept quiet i said uh, yeah i just wanted you to know because i had given you his profile now i didn't tell him i didn't call him and tell him hey listen i gave you a profile uh, fuck you i'm going to be right now i didn't say anything i always believe if you give something extra keep it as a surprise give it do it and surprise him now just imagine who's at loss fine you didn't give me a positive rating it doesn't matter my customers don't come to me because they read my ratings my customers come to me because of years and years of content that i put the 5000 plus videos my credibility is online okay but here invariably he has shot himself in the foot now who's going to who's going to be bothered about him i could have you know helped him get placement somewhere 
his ego his you know that attitude i should have the last word fuck you uh, it's it's sad when you have so much of potential but your ego your arrogance your pride is what will destroy you anyway you wanted the funniest thing of the whole thing was when he wanted a 30 year imagine 30 30 year game plan year by year i have to discuss the strategies write down in detail fuck man it's like i don't know what will happen tomorrow what the fuck you want me to talk for 30 years to be a ceo and then he was his main reason he was upset was you know he a college student saying that he saved company with millions of dollars multi million dollars he helped uh, co-found and start and save if you are co-founder all that you would be a millionaire how come you are still an ordinary position anyway these are the three cartoony clients <laughs> or potential clients for this year i guess this will be the last video for this year like i said i will not give you the names and identities of these people but this goes to show you what type of people i'm dealing with let me know your comments in the comment section which one you think stood out who was stupid <laughs> love to hear your thoughts you guys take care chal are you fed up of life earning a pathetic salary working long hours having an ungrateful boss facing office politics the constant fear of losing your job and after paying rent, groceries, shopping and children's expenses, you were left with hardly any savings. Is this the life you dreamed of or do you wish to change your life forever? Meet Loy Macedo, the world's number 1 personal branding coach. He will help you identify the real you. Position and sell yourself by getting the job of your dreams and make good money anywhere in the world. If you do not believe me, Google his name, Loy Macedo, and you will find 2 million web links online and over 200 recommendations from very happy clients. So the question is, do you want to change your life? If yes, then contact Loy Macedo. www.loymacedo.com. Who is loymacedo.com? thinkpersonalbranding.com. What are you waiting for? Do it now.